Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. Now, I love task management applications. There are so many out there catering for different budgets with different feature sets and there is no perfect task manager for everyone because everyone has a very unique way of working. Some need apps that are exclusively cross-platform. Some need to have a good level of free features because times are hard currently and so many other apps need a subscription. Some want their task management apps to be more than just a task manager, so perhaps some habit tracking elements or a way of collating thoughts and notes. Well, Tick Tick, excuse the pun here, ticks a lot of the boxes that people need. It is cross-platform, it's certainly multifunctional, it has a very good free tier, and it interacts with a lot of other applications. And the feature set is so rich, we're going to have to look at it in two parts. Now, in this part one video, we're going to look at the basic feature set. So how to get stuff into Tick Tick and organize it, thus getting you started. And then in the second video, we'll look at some of the more advanced features that Tick Tick has to offer that may set it apart from some of its rivals and give you something to think about when it comes to choosing your task manager. Let's kick off by taking a look at the different platforms that Tick Tick can be used on, as well as the pricing, because if you find yourself working in an environment that isn't Mac specific, a cross-platform solution like Tick Tick can be really useful. So you can access Tick Tick via Mac OS, an Android device, iOS, the Apple Watch, Windows, and Linux. Being able to use a web browser is particularly useful, as well as sending items to Tick Tick via either a Chrome extension or a Firefox one. Also, if you use Outlook, then you can send emails directly to Tick Tick, as well as through Gmail. Now, with all of those options, it would be easy to try to cover multiple ones here and get lost. However, as there is so much functionality on a mobile version of the app that is replicated to almost all of the other formats, I'm going to concentrate exclusively on the iOS version of Tick Tick. Having a mobile task manager is incredibly useful. So how much does it cost? Well, the good news is Tick Tick is free to use. There is a premium tier that you can unlock and towards the latter half of the screencast, I will unlock it so that the features in there can be demonstrated properly. Now, if we come over to the premium tab of the site here, you can unlock the premium version directly from here or from within the app itself. And we can see it costs $28 per year or $2.40 per month. So what does that exactly give you? Well, there's a full calendar function in there, which makes it easier to assign due dates to tasks. Filters are a core part of any task manager, which allow you to only see specific tasks. There are lots of extra features for setting up different lists, folders and tasks, as well as being able to track changes to tasks from yourself or people that you collaborate with. There are detailed statistics available, allowing you to see how you're progressing day to day and a lot more as well, all of which we're going to cover both in this video and a second part that will come shortly afterwards. There is just too much here for the one video. Now you do get a seven day free trial if you take up an annual subscription. And if you find that you want a refund, there is a clear refund policy spelt out here at the bottom of the page. That's the pricing covered. Let's go into the application on iOS for the first time. Now you can create an account for TickTick -Tick in a variety of ways. We can sign in with our Apple ID. We can use a Google account, a totally separate email address and password. And also, if I tap here, then we can use both our Facebook accounts and Twitter as well, if you really like. And alternatively, you can do all of that later and tap on skip. Now, on this screen here, there are some default lists that can be created for you. Now, this isn't crucial at all. You're probably going to be creating your own lists anyway at the beginning. But just tap one that you want if you want to see it or tap it again to remove. And then when you have all the ones that you want here, tap go ahead although you can skip this stage as well. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month 
and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.